Aloha guys and welcome back to your girl Aether Stormborn YouTube channel. Aloha. And today guys, we're going to do Shogun. Um, I've heard so much great things about it. I know I posted it on the community um, and a lot of you probably hasn't, haven't seen it, but my, all my friends said it's super good. So let's get into it. Hiroyuki Sonata. Love him. Starting off with some uh, ghastly looking bow. It kind of reminds me of Mortal Kombat, the, the first film. Kazakhs have richly profited from trade in Japan, year 1600. Okay, so the Protestants and the Catholics. Taiko has died, leaving behind an heir to Yu Ryung. Royal five warrior lords are now trapped in a bitter struggle. All of them seek. Shogun! Five ships when we began. A crew of over 500. We are now barely a single vessel. At my age, you draw your line. Okay, so these guys have a, a much bigger crew back. Don't you see there is nothing? All right. There you have it. So these guys were on a mission or something, right? That's what I'm gathering. And this is like, they were 500 strong and now they're like, their numbers are dwindling. Well, what was your mission? Shipwrecked in Japan, obviously. I see samurai shoulders, soldiers. Dude, the outfits. I'm loving the outfits. Ugh. You can tell by their teeth they're starving. The music is a vibe. Anjin, chapter one. It kind of reminds me of Game of Thrones, guys. Like the ravens sending messages. Hiroyuki from John Wick. I love his hat. Well, dude, we're already starting off with the drama. Like, I feel the tension. And it was amazing. The ensembles, guys. Guys, let's get into the costumes. It looks phenomenal. Osaka. Wow, look at the room. Taiko Samago Nakunari Narare Techine. Sono Kan Warira Sono Ho no Gotairo ni Tatetsuku Furumayo Taizu Yurios. Onorega Serio Konobas no Denka wa Kitsuku Imashime. Taiko. なんせは割を告げ申した。石戸さん。それが死が<笑> キヤマドの杉山殿。恩。この石戸。恐れながら、我々との万事につけ法令に準じておられます。でも、もう that was a heavy scene. Like a, a bunch of council members. 
富士殿だけは救わねばの婿殿の愚行自業自得でござる。Oh, that's his grandson. 殿のお命を狙う官僚どもにとらわれたまま、お芝の方様が戻られ次第、殿を亡き者にする腹に相違ござる。よってわしの代わりに、人質同然の殿をここに置いてでござる。全文してまいれと、すぐに出立してくれ。行くたび、かように思うたことか。Oh, the dialogue in this scene was amazing. They literally just explained what happened in the previous. Scene, um, with Hiroyuki's character sitting down with the council members. That's the guy from the beginning of the episode. Can you tell me what they are? Are they cafe? Right. It's what I've been telling you. They're Japanese. Japanese. We can still negotiate. We have goods to trade, not to mention I speak fluent Portuguese. As soon as the Portuguese. They don't know who we are because the rutters are still locked in the Captain General's quarters. We're just merchants, lost at sea, looking for safe passage home. Known starvation, we've chewed the calfskin, covers the ropes. We should be corpses by now, but here we are. Shit smelling, <laughs> but generally able bodied, Protestant scoundrels. Protestant. And the entire. Not the savage horde. Shit picking Portuguese fleet. All right. All right. Now I'd say our chances are fair. He has an English accent. I'm so confused. I have questions. Like, what are they doing in Japan? Dude, that's She has every right to read him, but like, that's so fucked up what he did though. He like. I don't know. I just don't know. Like, that's a hard. That's kind of a harsh punishment. I just realized they have the rosary, even the guy at the beginning. So I'm confused as to how they got, like, they believe in God. A thief. Guys, what is a thief? I don't know what a thief is. Or a fife. I'll let the coin. Hello there. My name is John Blackthorn, and I would very much like to speak to you. They'll kill you, pilot. Pilot, look at their swords. Let them go. No, 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 no. Don't fight them. Let the coin. You want to do that? Yeah. Ayo, What was that? They're like all gagging. Now I will come up alone. We are merchants. I request we be released. We mean you no harm. How do I say?、Uh, I understand in your language. I'm so confused. I thought he was going to speak Portuguese. If this is how he treats guests, tell this poxy little bastard I piss on his whole damn country! Is he gonna pee? What is he doing? <laughs> He's got golden showers. That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> oh! Dude, just for bowing. <laughs> Dude, it must be so rough back then. You need like translators everywhere. First, make that distinction, you patent prick. Come to war on a peaceful Portuguese settlement. And you have no intention of translating my words. I am not one of them! And I will 
こやつをいずこかの屋敷で風呂に入れよこやつが海賊だという証でもあるのかルーチが部族しましたピッツプロダクトに誰れことに付き合ってる暇はないされるこやつの代わりに一人選べわしのやり方でよいな Dude, I was not expecting this. Like to see a priest there and like Christianity there. Like, what?、Wow. I'm just. I was not expecting that. Yeah, it's your summer. Tenarai, you're a little bit of 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 a little Dude, the scenery, like the set, it's so amazing. Like, I feel like I'm there. It's that word thief again. Guys, let me know what that is thief or five. あ。They literally boiled him to death. His like, skin was coming off. She a concubine, a geisha. He's obviously intrigued. I don't know what that was about, but maybe she was just trying to get his attention. Is this our guy? Oh, he looks so handsome. Oh, Christ. He had a nice haircut and he just looks so different. Good morning. <laughs> Where are my boots? He looks so cute now. What a turnaround. He must be really bored if he wanted to hear a poetry about the guy's death. Like, he seems like he's interested in stuff and like things about that death and life and his ending. Okay, this guy seems sketchy. Dude, how did he know? His loyalty seems like it, like, it wavers. It wavers. Where am I being taken? You look at me. I wonder if that boy is the spy. Bow to the bastard Sama if you want to live. The man is like a king here. And tell him Goyosha o. Goyosha kudasare. Goyosha kudasare. I let all that Dutchman, eh? Who are you? <laughs> Young little shit, aren't you? What's the latitude of Alicia? South Southwest. Oh, I'll send you teach up. My God, you are a pilot. And English, too. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Osaka, big city. The great Lord Yoshi Toranaga wants to meet you. Play with your ball. 
more powerful than those men. Lord of the Canto, a million of them fanatics would die for the honor of wiping his out. Lord of the Canto. Canto. Merchant mission. Captain General held us in Chile too long. I warned him to win. <clears throat> Command rests on you. That's on faith. Shukume. What is that word? Shukume? It's like an attitude out here. It's uh, karma. Shukume. I like hearing this. I do. Kind of you to trust me. <laughs> well, why not? You're not a pilot, not a godless savage. Eh? You're going away much like a... I like this guy, Rodriguez. He has like a spirit about him. You know, like he's just like a... a, com a likes to have fun. Lives a robust life. He's kind of a comedian. Get this to roll! Can you sweep? Don't you? Never learn! This is a ground quickly, right? Oh, no. oh my god! Oh my god, he fell over. I hope that helps him. I don't know how a wooden stick will help him. Where I come from, we don't leave a man behind. I don't want you to use your out here. Who's your to take? It's okay. Oh. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm only trying <clears throat> to get a look. Oh, I see. You can't turn down a challenge in front of your men, can you? That must be so exhausting trying to speak to each other and like communicate and you guys just don't understand each other's languages. You're <laughs> such a potty mouth. Oh shit. Oh, he's gonna kill himself. Dude, he looks fucked up. Poor guy. I guess that's a sign of respect that he's showing. He looks shocked that he even made it back. She's so gorgeous. Mariko. Ishido殿が和紙を落とし入れん大老子を抱き込んで以来ポルトガル語を話せると聞いたが味郎で捕らえたものを連れてまいる。her father, that's the guy she's probably having flashbacks about in that other scene earlier. Oh. You have a Japanese heart. My leg is on fire. My head is bursting. My pishboard's full. Make a foul nursing place. His eyes are so blue. I wonder if those are real. They look so real. Look at it. Look at it. I found this on your ship, which means this belongs to you. Of all the Catholic bases that you and your so-called merchant crew are put into the torch. I mean, real savage business, if you ask me. Which is why I'm warning you. Please go to the Portuguese as soon as I arrive. This isn't the end for me. I won't die in this wretched land. I tell you what, English. We're coming into port soon. What are you going up there? Well, uh, tell me what you see. A hilt of civilization. It's not a wretched land. It's fruitful. What kind of man? wields power in a land like this. The one who schemes with- Ugh, not this butthole. I don't like the guy- I don't like him for doing what he did. And who knows? 
Maybe, maybe fate brought you here for a reason. That's a thriving nation. Oh, yo. I have so many questions. Like, it's the first episode and, like, there's so much information. Dude, shout out to Hiroyuki Sonata, who's an iconic Japanese actor, obviously. Um, and we've seen him in a few films, like uh, John Wick 4. Um, I first came to love him in The Last Samurai, which um, I love that film. I haven't seen it in years, but that was, I just love that film. Um, and he was in there with Tom Cruise. Um, and that guy from The Crouching Tiger. So when I found out that Hiroki Sonata was going to be in Shogun when I saw the trailer. I was like, I'm in. I have to see it. Um, I don't know if this show is based on True Story. Um, I have to do some research on that, but I'm not sure if it is. Um, but you guys let me know in the comments. Also, you guys did let me know that it's based on another novel or like a, a another series. And there's another film adaption or the original film I haven't seen, um, but I wanted to tap into this because my friends told me to watch it. Um, yeah, this, this first episode was legit super good. There's so much dialogue, so much happening. It didn't feel slow paced at all for me. Like it just kept going. It was very fluid, very smooth. Um, I had no idea. I thought this series was gonna, just gonna be like Samurais and like, you know, Shogun and all that stuff. Um, I had no idea it was gonna be, took a turn when I saw like, um, when I realized there's religion involved. Um, like the opening, the opening scene with the Jap uh, the Japanese guy um, at the shore, he had the cross. And then as the episode went on, I saw more crosses, more prayers. And I, and then you hear like, um, you said P Portuguese, the Sp Spanish has been here, the English. Um, there's so much moving parts and I'm like, wow, all this is happening all at once. I'm so confused. Um, but I had to like pay attention into detail, especially with the dialogue being um, with the subtitles on screen. Um, so I could pay attention and understand what was happening. Um, I should probably watch the episode again, but yeah, um, this, I love the actors over here are super good. Um, the female, Mariko, I really like her. Um, she comes from what, um, Hiro, Hiroyuki Sonata's, um, faction. Um, it looks like there's, like, a, a clan. So, like, there's, like, five, those counselors, they're, like, against, um, Toronaga, Hiro, uh, Hiroyuki's character. They're, like, outing him. It sounds like, it looks like they're painting him to be the bad guy, um, and the talks of like um, the throne, heir to the throne, um, the former emperor or Taiko. I don't know what Taiko means exactly. I'm going to have to look it up, but I don't know, maybe emperor. I'm not sure. Um, and it looks like from what we've seen on this episode that um, Toronaga is like watching over the boy, the heir to the throne. Um, and the heir to the throne's mother is like, with her, with him at his castle, um, but then he's imprisoned by uh, these guys, or, um, the counselor is there, the other four guys. It's just a lot of moving parts already, like coming out with bang, 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 um, in one episode, um, but like I understood everything that was happening, um, because I had to pay attention, like I said, um, but yes, the religion part too, like really caught me off guard. I had no idea we we're going to talk about like a Christianity, Catholicism, is the, the Catholics and the Portuguese. Um, I didn't understand why they were saying, do you speak Portuguese um, to to the other <laughs> the other people in the scene? Or like um, the Japanese, sorry, were telling their own, can you speak Portuguese? And I didn't get it until like the end of the episode that... Um, they literally think that English, the language English, is Portuguese. Because um, if we go back to that other scene where they caught um, the English-American guy, the handsome guy that I think is so hot, 
the main character, one of the main characters, um, when he was being uh, punished or like put before, um, what's his name? Yabushige. Um, and the Portuguese Catholic um, priest was translating for him and he said to him, the, our, our guy, our guy, the English guy from England, um, Oh, Jonathan, Jonathan, yeah, that's his name. They said Jonathan, um, Jonathan said that you guys didn't tell them that that there are other places that exist, right, in Europe. Um, Jonathan said, oh my God, you guys just told them that Portugal was the only place there across the seas, which is crazy. It makes, like, it just makes the story come up, come more, like, to fruition. You have like these huge, uh, all these little stories at the beginning of the episode and then at the, towards the end of the episode, I'm like, oh my God, it's like all these moving parts. The story gets deeper and deeper and the people's causes or whatever their intentions are, like gets, it starts to show more. So I remember at the beginning of the episode, um, Jonathan Blackburn was talking about like he's Protestant. He was talking to the old white guy, right? And they were saying that he's Protestant. So, and he's on some kind of mission, which I don't fully know the mission yet. Um, yeah, I have so many questions. <laughs> like, so many questions. But what I love about this uh, show, this episode too, the first episode, um, is that, like, they were saying everything after each scene. Like, they described and talked about what happened in the scene before. So it makes you understand what's actually happening. I just have to read and pay attention. It's a lot, but it's so good. It's so good. I love it. There's like more to it than what I thought. Um, yeah, this episode seems super good, guys. What do you guys think? Oh my God, the acting in here is good. Like the, the cinematography is beautiful. The sets out of this world, like the sets look so good. They look so real. And it's honestly it kind of reminds me like it's like a Game of Thrones, right? It kind of gives me that Game of Thrones-esque budget vibe, like the first season, but not really. It's just without the fantasy aspect. Um, that's really what I'm getting. Um, but yes, I love it. I want to watch the next episode right now. We're going to wait. We're going we're gonna to get through this first episode first, guys. Um... Yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. I'm going to have to watch this episode again so I can dive more into it. Um, but yeah, it's like the Portuguese, and there's the Spanish involved, like that guy Rodriguez, um, who I think is a kind of like a funny character. Um, yeah, he definitely caught me. He was like, you know, when he was on screen, he literally is like charismatic. He sh It shows. His charisma shows definitely on screen. Um, yeah, Hiroyuki Sonata, like shout out to him again, like uh, steals every every scene, and it's so like um here what uh Toronaga has its own like empire I guess or they all have like little like little places I'm assuming like um that they run like little governments of their own. Um, but I guess we're going to find out more in the next episode. Yeah. I find out what happens. Um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I thought it was superb. Um, I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. Um, also, I'm really sad about that. Um, the baby. The baby who died. Um, uh, Toronaga and um, Mariko were talking in that one scene, too. Which was, an, I think, that was a powerful dialogue scene. Like, all the dialogue in here was so powerful. Like, I loved it. But that one scene, they were talking about the, the child um, that passed, that had to get um, sacrificed because of that guy in Toronaga's party at the beginning of the episode. Um, oh, goodness. I don't know. That's kind of, like, a lot. That's kind of a lot to, like, make a, a mistake and then you have to... I don't know, like, curse your bloodline or whatever and, like, kill your child. Like, that's kind of, um, that's kind of deep. And that's, like, I don't know if that happens in real J Japanese culture life. Because, I don't know, this is not based off of, like, a true story, I think. Um, 
But I want to know if that, like, actually happens, right? Like, if they actually did that in the past, like, during the 1600s, like this um, episode talked about at the beginning. That's where it's time, time stamped. 1600s. Um, but that's kind of, like, scary. So, Mariko, too, in that scene where Mariko's talking to Torinaga, um, and that kind of like parallel to her story that kind of happened with her um, as a kid, like she lost her father. Um, and Tornaga was just comforting her, letting her know that, you know, he, he's sorry about that, but maybe he can bestow that upon her again. And I was like shocked, like, wow, they literally want to go out. Like if that happens to your father and then you get denied, you know, access to um killing your own self it kind of reminds me of the last samurai like they they will impale themselves right um like a beautiful death or something that's what i'm getting from this like the death thing so the punishment they just leave you out and you have to live on so that's what happened to her and her dad and that's what happened to the little boy the little baby which is so sad and then the mom and then the dad of that child who like made that stupid um, outburst. How would I say stupid? But like, if you're gonna get punished for doing something like that, and your punishment will be to like sacrifice your kid, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know. You guys, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, I don't know. This was super good, guys. I want to watch the next episode right now. Uh, let me know if I missed anything um, and what you guys think about this episode and the acting and all that stuff. I thought it was phenomenal. Um, yes, but if you guys are new to the channel, hit that like, smash that subscribe button if you want more content from your girl, um, Ava Stormborn. And for all my returning subscribers, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I love you guys in the polls, on the community board, um, on the YouTube channel when I post. Um, I love that you guys get so involved and like, like vote on like what we want to watch next. Um, I still have to do Green Mile. Yes, um, that's on the list. Uh, it Man is on the list as well. Um, Just did Seven. Um, obviously, it's on the channel. Um, but yes, guys, I'm so here for this new show, Shogun. I've been wanting a new show that will you know, get me super excited, kind of like the way I love Game of Thrones does. Um, but yeah, I'm super intrigued. I'll see you guys soon, though. Bye.